Your brother is leading you in the wrong direction. If you go down north right now, you can make up for lost time. Sorry about that. It's all right, Sonny. Did you tell us about this statue? Yeah, that's the Lord. The landlord, Master Philip. Uh, why is it here? And is something wrong? No, you just look like someone. Someone who used to live here. so powerful, don't you think he can handle one little boy? Return to your homes. This boy can do us no harm. It worked. Now what do we do? Come on. Y'all can sleep in my lean-to tonight. It's been a pretty eventful day for all of us. We can discuss our next step in the morning. Rest would be a welcome thing. I agree. Squad 2 has departed to the west enemy camp. They should be there right now. Good, good. This war. I have a good feeling, man. Oh. Oh. Gotta find them. I know you're on Marcus around here somewhere. I need Marcus for this battle. Surely he was the one in that dream. Ben, Jacob, where are you? Joseph, what's wrong? Brother, do you know where Jan and Marcus are? Yes, but Joseph, they left Untar a long time ago. I'm not sure they would be willing to come back. Things got pretty bad after you left. It's the sustainer's will, I'm sure of it. Please, do you know where they are? After you left, many of the villagers began to pick on Yana. They knew that she was your friend, and they gave her a hard time about it. Marcus wasn't accepted either. I'm afraid I was a big part of that problem. I was wrong. Anyways, a few years later, Philip came with his new rules. It all seemed pretty innocent in the beginning. He claimed to be providing us protection from the raiders. And all we had to do was provide him with a small tax for services. Gradually, things got out of hand. He began to demand more and more. He actually wanted us to worship him and his men. That's when Marcus and Yana left. Of course, I didn't understand that then, but now I see that I was the fool to follow Philip and his men. And I see that now. That's all behind you now, Jacob. It's a new day. The sustainer has a new task for you. But first, I need to know, where are Yana and Marcus? Ben, that's Yana. I'm sure of it. Well, let's catch up to her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She obviously didn't recognize me. Let's use that to our advantage. I need to figure out what in the world's going on around here. And we need to figure out where Marcus and Yana stand in all this. So just kind of play along with me until I find a good point to reveal myself. Think you can do that? All right, let's go. Excuse me. Can we take some help with your load for some information? We're looking for a couple friends of ours and a good meal. Could you help us? Well, I guess I could help with the meal part at least. I have one friend coming over, but two more won't be a problem. 
Thank you. You've returned early for lunch. Oh, tell me you found him. No. But I did find a man named Nicodemus. He said Joseph left his home eight days ago heading for Untar. Something about fighting the Atelianites? Yes, I knew it. His name was right all along. Oh, forgive me of my manners. I almost forgot our guest. Marcus, this is... Oh, wait. You never told me your name. Well, this is Ben. Hello, Ben. Nice to meet you. And I'm Joseph. Joseph? As in our Joseph? Is it really you? Wait, Joseph, why didn't you say so a minute ago? Yana, are you sure this is him? This could be another one of Philip's tricks. Get back. You always were warlike, just like Yana said. Are you sure these are your friends, Joseph? My friends don't pull swords on me. Maybe you got the wrong people. Don't be ridiculous, Marcus. Of course this is him. I thought something was familiar about you as soon as I saw you. I just can't believe we've been looking for you, and you find us. Yeah, well that is a little bit like the Joseph we know. Full of surprises. But why didn't you ever write or call? Call? What are you talking about? Well, isn't this strange? All those years ago, I offered you my house to stay in, yet now here I am in need of a place to stay. Yana's tent's over here. Uh, my tent's actually pitched out back near some other folks' tents. It's a better view in case of Philip and his men coming up here. After all, I promised to protect Yana once from him. I hate to interrupt this loving reunion, but does somebody have something to eat? I'm starving. Come on, Ben. I'll see what I can find. What is this meal you promised going to be? My Joseph, where did you find this starving pup? What? Can't a boy be hungry around here? After all, I haven't eaten since this morning. That's a long time, you know. Ben, it was just three hours ago. Like I said, it's been a long time. I mean, look at all we did in that time. We got Jacob to tell us where these friends of yours are. We traveled all the way here, and this little reunion has taken one, no, two hours. That's why I'm hungry. And like my father said, I'm a growing boy. Well, I wish I had something special to celebrate with, but as you can see, Philip doesn't leave much behind when he comes to collect his taxes. That's okay, Yana. I'm just happy I finally found everybody. Though I guess I should explain why I'm here. You see, the sustainer has called me to free our people from the Atelianites. I could use some help. Do you know where I could find a warlike fellow and a sincere gal who'd be interested? Interested? I've been waiting for this day for years. Philip will know what happened to him when I get through with him. Marcus, let's eat first, and then Joseph can tell us all that has happened to him since he's left Untar. We've been so worried about you. Okay, uh, I guess I'll lead the blessing. Sustainer, thank you for these friends and this food. I thank you for guiding our footsteps over these many years and bringing us all safely back together. I thank you that Jacob has finally found you and that you sent him to protect me and Ben yesterday. I thank you for bringing me and Ben safely back here to Untar and I praise you for being our sustainer. Amen. So that's when I left Nicodemus's and took Ben as my, you know, kind of squire. Then when we got to Untar and destroyed the statue, well, you can just imagine how the people reacted. They wanted to kill you, right? Yep. We barely escaped with our lives. I wanted to fight, but Joseph said no. They wouldn't have stood a chance against the awesome power of Benjamin. Um, yeah. They wanted to kill us, too. That's why we had to leave. Um, when we refused to bow down and pay taxes to Philip, we had to go on the run. We've been hiding out ever since. 
it's been a lonely time and there are others like us, but for the most part, only Anna is family. She's become like the sister I had to leave behind. You know, if they all want to kill Joseph, maybe we should change his name. It would help to keep you safe for the time being. I do like your name, but I bet we can come up with another one that will suit you just as well. Hey, Joseph, what was that name that Dad used to call you? What is something like Gabriel? It was Gideon. Say it right or don't say it at all. Gideon, mighty warrior. I like it. It can also mean man of valor. Valor? What's that mean? It means courage or bravery. A mighty warrior is brave, full of courage, even when he is afraid. Well, that sells it. That doesn't suit me at all. I'm not brave, mighty, or courageous. Yeah, you are. Well, remember that time? Maybe not that time. What about the time you climbed a tree and waked up? Joseph, it doesn't matter who you think you are. All that matters is how the sustainer sees you. He wouldn't have called you to this task if he didn't see you as a mighty warrior. She's right, Joseph. You don't have to be mighty. You have to let him be mighty through you. And anyways, I'll be right there beside you. Philip won't stand a chance against warlike and mighty warrior. I don't know. This whole thing's getting a little strange. What if I misunderstood the angel? I'm no mighty warrior. I'm the least in my family, and my family's the least in the village. That kind of makes me, you know, the least of the least. Surely the sustainer has someone else for this task. Oh, Joseph, you've never seen your worth, have you? Well, why don't we put it to the test? If you could somehow get confirmation, would you believe it then? Confirmation? What do you mean, Yana? You know, ask for a sign, like the holy men of the scriptures did when they were confused. Sounds fun. Let's do it. Okay. I'm game. Um, what are we going to do? Shouldn't it be something that only the sustainer could do? Something that wouldn't happen on its own? I got it. All right. We'll take a cup and we'll put it outside the tent. And in the morning, if the cup's full of dew, but the ground all around it is dry, we'll know this is the sustainer's will. Okay. That's different. Um, so we all promise not to cheat and pull water ourselves in this. This is the sustainer's turn to shine. Amazing. It's a miracle. Well, wow. mm, I'm not so sure. What? You just witnessed the sustainer's hand at work, and you're still not convinced? You put him to the test. How can you not believe the results? Well, I don't know. I mean, what if somebody came by last night and spilled something in the cup? Spilled something in the cup? Come on, Joseph. What about the dry ground? How do you explain that one, Joseph? Look, this is my test. If I want to do it again, I can. I just want to be sure. All right, how about this? We'll leave the cup out again, and this time, if the ground around the cup is wet, and the inside of the cup is dry, we'll know this is the sustainer's will. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So, what are you going to say now, Joseph? Looks pretty convincing to me. Okay, well, I'm convinced. Come on, I wasted no time with this. May the sustainer be with us. 